Today's video does have a $20 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to play Aragon, then click on the link in the description that sends you to their Discord. And once you join a Discord, you can just go to the download section and download the client from there. A quick shout out to Toast for winning the last episode's giveaway. Make sure to message me in game or through Discord in order to claim your prize. Today's goal is just to farm as much AP as possible. We have two days until the weekly task resets, so I do want to go in and finish those 156 skeletal horror kills. That's going to be pretty quick and easy. They're about 30 to 50 second kills, and it's all AFKable. I just got to keep my prayer up. So then I could probably also try to get a Cerberus task. There's definitely going to be some sort of miscellaneous task. I can do as well let's look at the mini game task actually is there anything with the warriors guild yeah there is so i can get probably around 20 achievement points today and of course it's been a few days since the last episode and i've been thinking about this torva plate body a little bit and if i do sell it i could probably use that and my cash to get a hundred dollar bond and that would get me up to 250 achievement points and i could actually unlock the spellcaster perk because i've been wanting to increase my magic perks because i don't have any unlocked right now i used to have them unlocked but i sold them back or I guess I refunded them for a few points just because I wasn't doing any magic content and I'm still not really doing it but at some point I'm gonna have to get these magic perks back but yeah I could use those 250 points to get some magic perks or even just upgrade my melee perks even more but I'm still not gonna do that because I have plenty of time to farm some AP and if I get to a point where I'm really just like burnt out then I will sell some of my items but I don't really think that's too likely like I said if, if I get to a point where I'm just burnt out on bossing or whatever maybe I'll do that to give myself a little bit of a boost but but uh, yeah, I think I think I'll just stick with the weekly task and a quick shout out to Churchill for the kind message I definitely do appreciate that. Let's just go ahead and get straight into the bossing and AP grinding I am gonna be doing my skeletal horror kills to start things off with and this will be about an hour of AFK grinding To be honest, I don't really have anything to talk about today because like I said earlier the plan for today is just AP grinding There's no real structure to this right now. I'm just gonna go find a task and do it I mean, we've already talked about the Torva plate body that I got in the last episode and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna keep that I could sell it like I said earlier and get a bond and a bunch of AP for it but I don't think that's really worth it just mentioning a few possibilities that have run through my brain but yeah more than likely I'm just keeping it for now oh actually one thing that I can say is that this is my new favorite task when it comes to any sort of bossing weekly task that's actually not completely true because there are the tasks that you have to get like kills within 65 seconds and you only have to do a couple of those so they're very quick and easy so yeah those are probably way better to do but when it comes to like those long tasks where you have to just sit at a boss for a while this is my favorite one to do now previously it was the necromancer because it was very similar to this where i kind of just afk'd and did nothing for about an hour to an hour and a half but that was in the wilderness and i couldn't use all of my best gear so it probably will take a little bit longer than this boss plus i gotta worry about the pkers and all that and teleporting back to my bank when i get drops luckily at the skeletal horror there's absolutely no issues with that and this is even an instanced boss so i don't have to worry about anyone crashing me or me crashing anyone else and if you really wanted to you could get the perks to pick up the coins and my monster tickets all like just automatically i probably will finish this collection log for the skeletal horror even if i don't really get any more task for it because it's just a very easy boss to grind and you can get the collection log probably within just a few days there's 11 items in the collection log so that's quite a bit but i've only done 30 kills and i've already gotten three out of the 11 so the drop rates seem pretty reasonable and you do get a five dollar bond for finishing up the collection log so that's pretty much the only reason why i would do it because none of the drops are really worth anything i do think the pet is cool and i would definitely use that but outside of that not too much of a reason to complete it unless you're getting that five dollar bond and just after a few kills i've already gotten skeleton gloves and a skeleton mask so like i said the drop rates seem to be pretty reasonable here very easy to get items and actually speaking of the monster ticket things i guess it's time for me to actually go and buy that the ticket collector perk is something that i've been wanting to get for a while i've just been a little bit cheap with my tickets honestly i've just been selling them all that's what's been happening i've just been selling them all trying to get some cash but they're really not too expensive anymore they've kind of gone down in price a bit i don't have enough for the coin collector i do have to get a little bit more for that but i can get the ticket collector so let's go ahead and grab that and then head over back to the skeletal horror because it actually drops a lot of tickets and after this kill the tickets should just go straight into my inventory and there we go perfect now the only thing i have to really worry about is picking up any of the unique drops that i get but yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in like an hour when i get this task done and then we can move on to a different task so fun task after task after task it's gonna be great i'm gonna get a lot of achievement points 
and work towards some pet perks. Actually, one more thing that I will say is that this is so incredibly AFKable now. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm just sitting here and my prayer perk is refilling my prayer pretty consistently, not all the time, but pretty consistently after each kill. And of course, I'm getting my monster tickets picked up now. So the only thing I'm doing is clicking on my overload every couple of minutes and just checking the drops. Once every five minutes, I click my overload, look at the loot pile, see nothing, and then just sit back in my chair again and look at my phone or whatever. And luckily enough, my daily task is also killing the Skeletal Horror 34 times, so I just completed that. So it does overlap with my weekly task, which is something that I mention all the time. It's always great when that happens. Okay, so call me a quitter if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this grind a little bit short because it is taking a lot longer than expected, but I still have two days to finish up this task. So I'm just doing a little bit here, a little bit there, and by the time at the D's weekly task reset, I will have that finished. It is AF cable, and I do like that it's AF cable but I'm kind of feeling like it's a little bit inefficient just to sit here all day and do that one task. So I'm going to go ahead and do some Cyclops kills. This is kind of like the exact opposite. It's pretty click intensive because you kill the Cyclopses very quickly, but it's also a pretty quick task. So again, the exact opposite. And even though this is a little bit more of a boring task, this is going to be pretty interesting for me at least because I was going to bring my crystal armor set, but I was like, nah, maybe I should just bring my attack cape. That way I don't have to get any extra warrior guild tokens. So instead of bringing a range setup, I'm bringing a melee setup with my tent whip. And this is the first time I'm actually using fast hands with this whip as well. It's not too often I get to use this tent whip because I just have the Elder Chaotic Maul and with most of the end game bosses they are bigger so I just use that because it's better. But yeah I'm getting to use the whip finally with the fast hands perk and it seems like it's pretty good. The world boss is going absolutely crazy right now. I could try to go in there and do 19 of them but there is the risk of me going there and not getting to 19 because I haven't done any all week so I should probably get a little bit better with doing that. I shouldn't wait to do all my world boss kills in the last day or two so yeah i'm not really gonna go there because if i get like 17 kills it doesn't matter because yeah i'll get some monster tickets and maybe a few drops but i'm not gonna get my achievement points and it's gonna be a big waste of time so it's kind of risky to go do that on the last day well actually it's not even the last day i have two days left what am i saying i'll probably go there at the end of this video this is always such a nice and free task to do for eight achievement points though because it's very quick especially when you have better gear and perks even on lower tiered accounts like my iron man i just did this in the last video i uploaded on the channel and i was just here with the carol set and our tour set and no pet perks and it was still going by very quickly so i always do enjoy seeing this option pop up as a weekly or daily task okay these world boss kills are going so hard right now i gotta go back and do some they're popping up every two seconds so people there's a lot of people there so the kills are going quick and there's a lot of them being popped up so i should get a lot of kills here can't really pass up on the opportunity and the very first kill i get an amulet of torture so that's great now if only i could find it because there's so many people here where the hell is my torture i'm also pretty sure torture is about 100 mil at the moment anywhere from like 80 to 100 i haven't checked it lately because i just really haven't been considering buying one but it's right around there so a very good drop yeah Krios is here and they're talking about who has how many jars and stuff so it's definitely an event going on i'm not even gonna check the discord maybe i should because otherwise i'll look stupid yeah there's not even an event going on i just checked discord and nothing's happening there as you see me i'm just suiciding to this boss over and over again because i'm too lazy to switch my inventory up and bring food yeah that's not even an event everyone's just coming together at the same time to do all this i guess i used to be the guy that would come here and bring my bgs and have all my best gear just to try to help everyone out get the kill as fast as possible but i'm a changed man now i'm in it for myself it's the most selfish player ever right here you know what it looks like everyone's out of spawns but i do have a couple on my bank so I, I won't be so selfish today i'll go ahead and spawn a couple all right so we just spawned one i got one more in my bank of course they're the two worst ones we got that mutant tarn and glod of course they're just the most annoying ones to kill and that's why i kind of just suicide the entire time i don't i don't really care about eating or swapping anything everybody's going crazy because there's been so many spawns that's why i came here as well because i've never seen so many spawns happen at once this is crazy all right so that was pretty crazy and unexpected unfortunately i just caught the tail end of it so i didn't get that many done let's see here how many i'm sure it's a weekly task wait a minute is this not even a week oh it is 19 so i got six done right there again i caught the ending of it because i just logged back in and it was happening while i was offline so that's kind of unfortunate but at least i got some kills done apparently it was like 30 though in a row something like that uh, I was looking through the chat. A lot of people were saying like right around 30. I just got a penguin mask from a mystery box. I don't really know what this does for me, but wait, is this a, uh, it says drop. Is this like a pet? 
Oh my god, I have a penguin. Five extra achievement points from a common loot key as well. That is always great. That's pretty much the only thing I hope for when I use these loot keys. I don't really care about items anymore because I got plenty of them, but when it comes to these keys, I really do like the achievement points. And while I'm here, I do have about 200 Slayer points to work with, so I'm going to cancel my Night Gazer task and try to get a Cerberus task. Last time I did this, it did not go well and I lost all my Slayer points, so hopefully this time it goes a little bit better. Wow, first try Cerberus. That's 24 of them. How many do I need? I need like 13 kills in only 65 seconds or something like that so that's plenty i'm gonna head back and do my cyclops kills i only got a few done i'm 15 out of 84 right now because i stopped to do the world boss kills so i'll go back there finish that up and then we can end everything off after some cerberus kills i'm currently at about 750 mil and i do have the torva plate body that i could use for a trade again i don't really want to do that but i can definitely use that if it's reasonable but with 750 mil i can save up for either a next armor set maybe like a pernix set obviously i can't get that right now but maybe i could save up for that or i could save up for some magic armor as well because otherwise right now i'm just using my gold rift avoid for magic and for my ranged i'm using my crystal armor set which is good but i mean i gotta upgrade both of those eventually so let me know what you guys think i should do i probably the range is more important right now there's just so many options you could literally comment anything and it's probably a reasonable thing because i have a lot that i can improve on like i could just go out and get a ring upgrade or an amulet upgrade and that would be it or I could get my armor sets. Well, I would have to save for them, but I could get a Pernix armor set. Or I could even save to get the rest of the Torpa set and then just sell off the Inquisitors. I don't know if that's the best idea, but that's just an option. I'm just kind of spitballing here. It's not like I'm actually going to do that. Holy shit, that was way faster than expected. I'm already done with the task. I've been here for like two minutes. I mean, maybe I'm tripping, but I, I thought I was going to be here for much longer. I just got here. But yeah, I guess I'm done with that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do my 13 Cerberus kills. It might be like 14 or 15 because I do have to get them done within 65 seconds, but I mean, with my setup and pet perks, I think I should be fine. This is a pretty AFKable boss, but it's not fully AFKable because the floor spawns can definitely stack you up, especially if you just hit like a random set of zeros with the Elder Chaotic Mall. You could actually die here pretty easily, but the likelihood of that happening is pretty slim. Not impossible, of course, but the point is you can definitely die here if you're not paying attention but you know what if you do die you can just respawn up it's not really that big of a deal so i'm gonna sit back and afk this no big deal i'm gonna have my tickets hopping up into my inventory for free because i got that perk earlier so i don't even have to click on anything and honestly i might not even have to fill up my prayer since i'm only doing 13 kills i might just be able to fully afk everything here And of course, I get an eternal crystal drop. I just, you know, I go somewhere, I get a drop, and that's pretty much what I do all day. I just get drops. I'm literally the best dropper getter in the game. Legit best dropper getter that's probably another like 70 to 90 mil i'm assuming i haven't really looked at the prices too much because i've been on my hardcore iron man quite a bit but uh yeah that, that's a pretty good chunk of change right there that i just made and that is the weekly task completed 13 kills within 65 seconds but i'm gonna sit here and finish up this task since i only have 11 more kills to do i wonder if there was a way to like gather everyone's information on the server and judge how many kills people have done at bosses and how many drops they have gotten of course it wouldn't really work that well because every boss has different rates but i guarantee you i'm in like the top three for the luckiest player on a server i guarantee it every time i go anywhere i get a drop and this entire series has pretty much all just been five percent luck i've never had any of the boosters or any sort of extra donator rank or even like half the time when i'm bossing i don't even have a server boost on it's almost always a five percent boost which is the craziest part because that's a very low boost compared to what some other people are able to pull off and i mean the main reason for that is just because i am kind of lazy and i don't feel like doing all the extra effort to get an extra boost to my luck when going out to boss and it's never really been a problem because i always just get the drops anyways that is the task completed i got some coins from that and some slayer points of course but that's not really that big of a deal i just wanted to get that weekly task done anyways i think that's probably going to be it for the task today i got almost halfway with the world bosses and i completed the cyclops one and to finish things off i also did the cerberus task and i got about halfway with the skeletal horrors as well so a lot of progress when it comes to the ap and that's exactly what i was looking for today i'm going to be doing that quite a bit honestly i'm just going to be farming this ap and going to next masses that's pretty much it but i don't have to get into that because i've already talked about that plenty in this series but yeah i just tried to get some achievement points and task done today and i also ended up making like 200 mil that's definitely a win-win